bestiesi. Get him out of here. 
was. All right, I'm gonna do the dead check. your imaginary numbers. You're late. Well, come on. Grab your gear. Welcome to Missouri. Good to see you too, sir. Jesus Christ. seconds to knock down L6, else we have to qualify again, start over the road. Ready, Major? 11 seconds. 9 seconds. 5 seconds. Yeah, plenty of time for that last one. More than I needed. Any particular reason why? Truth is, sir, unless I really have to, I always have a problem shooting a beautiful woman. <laughs> Try to keep up. Do my best. No, he's 
best timing you on this run, too. Is there room? What you waiting for? Transport pickup Constanza, Romania. DEA bringing in a body on bird, having requisition issues, asking for Conair while they sort it out. For a corpse? <laughs> Sounds like some typical DEA bullshit. Draw a raw detail and dump it on the J pads. For the record, the body in the bag is a one Joseph Salazar. Braxton Kruger. That's correct. You know about the brothers, sir? One in the same. Salazar was the boss of one of the most violent cartels in Eastern Europe. Dead or alive, we're bringing them stateside. Gear up and move out. What are you waiting for, soldiers? Go.
24 hours. We don't have a secure holding tank. What you should be doing is parking him at that military base over there and locking him down solid. That's just way too much paperwork, all right? Like, I can't put him on a base with 8,000 soldiers. Any one of them could be bought. I got a safe house. You're gonna love it. But I did hear a name. Did? What was the name? All right. Dr. Harrison. Yours, sir. Let's roll out. Give me a cigarette. I've been dead four hours already. Not a chance. In your world, someone steps on your toe, you have to play nice. My world, damn. Stairs. Dance, you sweep the east stairs. Jensen Chavez with me. 12th floor. Presidential suite. Nothing but the best for our round of the year. According to the Chinese, people born in the year of the rat are creative, intelligent, honest, ambitious, generous, and big to temper. You see yourself like that? Look at this view. 
That's what I left him, Matthias. I can't tell you no about family. Is that right? Your father, I'm thinking, he was the big influence on your life. Am I right? For me, it was my father-in-law who shaped me to the man I am today. You know what he taught me? Don't fuck with big dog. Good advice. Good story. It's funny because I was born here the rat and I don't give a fuck about dogs. Salzar, more rooms downstairs. Come with me. All right, he is all yours. I have to arrange clearance for tomorrow, but uh, let's make sure you do sweeps. Right? Let's make sure nobody from the hotel knows we're here. My guy's been hot for 72, so why don't you uh, take Luca? You can be on your own tonight, but I will be back. I'm going to get clearance. Put a new team in place, by 900. There are six of us. You expect us to secure the whole floor with that? <sighs> Scone. There's only two ways up here. You got the elevator and the stairwells, east and west. All right? You can secure that with three guys. <laughs> Come on, man, lighten up. I keep telling you. The bad guys think Salazar's dead. They don't even know we're here. Piece of cake. Nothing too but to do it. You just gotta stay the course. All right, listen up. This is now considered a hot zone. Anything happens to me, Ramirez has the wheel. Got it? Jensen, Chavez, you got first sweep. Luca, you and Ramirez sweep the elevators and the stairs. Post up in the hallway. Dance, you're in here with me. Keep your shit together, people. 20 more hours and we're back in the air. Didn't it seem odd that Daryl left without any backup? After my time in Afghanistan? <laughs> no, sir. service at various fine establishments around the world. Good for you. So what are you doing here, Emilia? Trying to cure cancer. The fuck you think I'm doing? I'm on break. Smoking a joint, talking to my lady. Nobody told me they change security. They should tell me this shit. Motherfucking gun in my face. Bunch of assholes signing my paycheck. Nobody tell me. What should I know? Then chew on my ass for not knowing it. So you're not supposed to know we're here, Emilia. So I'm gonna be nice to you. Well, you fucked it up pretty recklessly because I'm staring at you. I was on break, I was smoking. I joined you. You're killing me, Emilia. Listen, this is what we're gonna do, okay? One last talk of this thing, then you're gonna go inside, and I won't tell those fucking assholes who pay your paycheck not to. Got it? What are you waiting for? Here you go. You good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have a nice day.
You don't trust me, do you? I smelled marijuana and observed Marshall Jensen coming in from outside. I searched the area and found the remains of a marijuana cigarette. Are you really gonna fuck it all up this fast, Jensen? None of that can help us soon, no. Civilian, Bellman, smoking a giant on the roof, cut him some slack, let him walk. You let him go back to work? Well, I, uh, I almost shot him, if that makes you feel any better. You've compromised our position. No, I didn't. I protected it. Chavez, give us a minute. Now. I served under your father in Iraq. I didn't know that, sir. Didn't like him much, I have to say. Is that right, soldier? That's right. I would have died for him, though. Almost did a couple times. But in the end, he died so guys like me could have a second chance. For the record, whatever happened to Barada unit? Well. Thank you, sir. Go on, get out of here. Why don't you and Chavez go scare us up some dinner? Mull that over. You got it, sir. You know, I've got a problem with you. If you want me to have your back, you're gonna have to communicate with me. Are you mad at me? Yeah, I'm not used to this before, you know, a couple of days of drunk and groping and things, you know. Wow, really? The Barati unit. What about him? How long were you in for? I don't know, four months, maybe a little more. Yeah, right. You know, everybody, I mean, everybody thinks you guys got off easy. And a lot of people got killed in cold blood. Well, they weren't there, were they? And nor was I. Well, where were you? You can tell me. Where were you? with me okay okay so i'm gonna tell you something you shouldn't know which means i trust you i wasn't in afghanistan when i went down i was in northern pakistan so i don't know what happened but i may as well have been you know because i was doing the same or worse and truthfully all those guys i was just as lost as the rest of my fucking unit poor bastards Okay, so now you tell me something that makes me trust you. Something that makes you trust me? We've all got secrets. You've got the truth. Thank you.
stop it for now. But they're on their way up to you. Get ready, sir. Copy that. How many? Four in the garage, only one left. Second team in the lobby, I'm guessing 20. Looks like they have Chavez, sir. Dead? Yeah. Elevator's down. Chavez is down. Jets is not sure if she's alive or dead. I want you to take the doors. I want Ramirez and Luca to take position on the stairs. We've got two teams coming up. Go. Copy that. Do you think that they intentionally targeted Chavez? It all, uh, it all happened so fast, sir. You know, I get the feeling that you're talking around me and, you know, using some fucking Zen riddles or some shit. When they call me in, it ain't a fucking joke. It ain't about who stole some fucking boots and cigarettes from the barracks. When they call me in, it's your fucking neck. When they call me in, you're gonna live or you're gonna fucking die. This is the fucking come to Jesus moment. And I was not born on a fucking turnip truck, man. And I was not born at night. I was born in a bright fucking sunny day, man. And I've been doing this for a long time. Do not think I'm fucking new. Do not think you can play me. Let's get to the fucking nitty gritty here. What the fuck happened? Okay, I, I believe the attack was coordinated. To start when we got to the hotel. I'm not, I'm not talking about a bunch of thugs spraying AKs. They were trained military through and through. Three teams, coordinated attacks, seen it too many times. You see any weapons? Like I said, AKs. Look, I think I may have heard some M4s also, sir.
You should know something. If you want to survive this, you need to let me go. Now. Oh, really? You're not going anywhere. Remember, we're the ones with the guns. Are you sure about that? That was easy. something to you, Mr. Sconi. Do you know who owns this hotel? No. Me. What? That's right. I built this suite for me. My little friend here. Ah, she's been waiting for me for a long time. One day I thought maybe I could stay here. A nice dream. To them, 
I say four words. Беда никогда не приходит одна. Trouble never comes alone. Have to go home now. You and me are gonna find the marshal. 
just like the movies, okay? Best you're gonna get. Everybody's so good and touch around here all the time. Maybe I saw an ugly motherfucker while I was crawling away from all those motherfuckers shooting at me with your mouth. Show me. Are you sure you want to do this? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Those people in there are innocent. We can't have them dying in my place. Right. But look, here's the plan. 20 minutes after the last hostage has been cleared, my team will breach in. If you can't survive that long on your own, we'll take them out. If not, well, we'll make them suffer. That's pretty sure. Great plan. supposed to make me trust you? <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> Something's wrong. The mic just went dead. What do you mean the mic just went dead? Re-establish audio now. How? I... Re-establish audio now, I said. Give me a sip, bro. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy you should have called when your shit went sideways. I need two six-man teams now. The fuck did you do that for? I ask you to kill them. How come is he still alive? I released him. I gave you the information and location of his wife. All is a show of good faith. All you had to do was keep her alive until you talked to me. It was a, a little accident. A little accident? You leveled her house with a bomb. Okay, look, listen. Harrison already made his deal with Salazar. A new life under the watchful eye of the DEA. All he had to do was name some names. At the end of the day, Salazar didn't take the deal. So, for 500, 500 million dollars, I offered to release him. No more DEA up his ass. No more naming names. Like, guys are fucking so safe. He just disappears. His wife, his wife was my leverage. You get that? I couldn't tell you about the deal until Harrison made his move because I knew, I knew you would find a way to fuck this up and you fucked it up anyway. That's, that's a lot of money. Can I say? I don't care about the money. I want him dead. You, you killed his wife. And now we have to kill him because he will kill us. That's what you don't understand. I'm ahead of the game. My men are on their way up right now at the safe house where he's at. He's gonna be dead soon. <sighs> Listen, I don't need you anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, you no, do. No, I do not need you anymore. Oh, that's not where he's going. 
I know where Salazar's going. They have uh, three tunnels they're building to stabilize the foundation of this building. And one of them is dry, dry and clean, and it ends up 300 yards past the police line. I think that's where Salazar's going.
this is no. this is what remains I told you I left three billion behind but I didn't say I left everything behind five hundred million dollars maybe more who knows from the Russian army through Afghanistan in 91 and ended up playing hits for Larissa's father in Odessa those many years ago. Only every time we're playing chess. You also told me that if I beat you, you leave me every time. You haven't won yet. Yeah, but I have. Game over, Salazar. You see, about five minutes, SWAT's coming in. And I have the distinct feeling that they're going to go Bin Laden on your ass. So you can take your chances with SWAT. Or you can give me the goddamn key as originally planned. Consider it done. So, I don't know. 
You know, for half a million dollars, diamonds, gold. I don't know, man. I'm starting to think that maybe the rat was Amanda Chavez. I don't know if she was a hostage. I think she might have flipped. No, no way. Did you know her before you were assigned to the unit? Jesus. You knew my father, sir? You know, he said to me, in a situation like this, tell the truth, son. It may be the only chance you have of walking away. So I say to you again, sir, no, I did not know Amanda Chavez before this assignment. You said you saw her get shot. But you testified that she wasn't injured during the gun battle, so I'm a little confused. So she's wearing a vest. Most of the rounds we use will go right through those vests unless it was... A... Sir, I found the vest. It had an embedded round in it, no sign of blood. But you're sure she wasn't the rat? Right? Do you know what happened to her? Leave Marshal Jensen there. Walk to the service elevator. Press the button. Elevator comes. Get on. Take it to the lower level. Get on. Marshal Chavez gets on. Elevator doors close. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Okay. I get him first. Four minutes. Don't worry about it. It's more than we need, Salazar.
join your friend in a body bag. C'est bon. Vieux. I didn't. I admit it. It's not the honorable thing to do. I'm sure it won't keep you up at night, Salazar. See, the problem we have here is I care about somebody now. And you have a date with the DOJ. You think I trust those guys? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's close enough. Are you planning on shooting me? I saved your life back then. Don't insult me, Salazar. You still haven't figured it out. Have you?
okay. Sorry, man. You didn't ask to sign my paycheck. If you would ask, I would have told you. It's Mr. Salazar. Best you're gonna get. Joseph Salazar and Amanda Chavez are dead. How'd they die? Sir, I saw the demise of El Tabarana and Chavez. They died in the firefight. The bodies fell into a drainage tunnel. Their bodies are probably in the Black Sea by now. And Field Commander Mike Darrell? Sadly, Agent Darrell was killed heroically. They're the hands of the circle thugs, and that is... That's all I can tell you, sir. One last thing. 
If the Lazar ever give you anything, no matter how minuscule, anything to help us determine his whereabouts? No, sir. That's good to know, Major Jensen. And if that's your statement, then I'm satisfied to sign it. Thank you. 